Chapter 2, Lesson 3, Percents and Decimals. You will be able to write percents as decimals and decimals as percents. Write each percent as a decimal. Helpful hint, write it as a fraction first. So 56% as a fraction is 56 over 100. Remember, all percents are out of 100. From here, read the fraction. 56 hundredths. 56 hundredths as a decimal is 0.56. So let's try B. 8% is 8 over 100. Do not reduce. Okay, when we're writing as a decimal, we want it to be in a power of 10, and 100 is the power of, a power of 10. So 8 hundredths would be 8 in the hundredths place. Letter C, 2% would be 2 over 100, hundred or two hundredths, two in the hundredths place. Letter D is 32 percent, which is 32 over 100 or 32 hundredths. Letter E is 6 percent, or 6 over 100, 6 hundredths, which means 6 in the hundredths place. And letter F is 93 percent, or 93 over 100, which is 93 hundredths. So by simply reading the percents when they're in fraction form, you can write the decimal form. Is there a pattern? Let's take a look. I went from 56% to 0.56, 8% to 0 0.08, 2% 0 0.02, 32% 0.32, 6% 0.06, and 93% 0.93. Here's the shortcut. You take your percent and the decimal's at the end. If it's not, if a decimal's not written in a number, it's at the end on the right. When you divide by 100, all you did was take that decimal point and move it 2 to the left. When you have an empty space, you fill it with a 0. So 0 0.08. 2%, move it 2 to the left, fill it in with a 0. 0.02%. So the shortcut is to move the decimal point two places to the left. So let's use our shortcut method to solve these next couple. 16%, your decimal point is after the 16, move it to to the left, and you get 0 0.16. Letter B, 4%, your decimal's at the end, move it 2 to the left, adding in a 0 in that empty spot, we get 0 0.04. And 99%, our decimal points at the end, move it 2 to the left, you get 0 0.99. So now you have two methods of changing percents to decimals. Let's go the other way around. Write the following decimals as percents. Helpful hint. Write it as a fraction first, then if necessary, write an equivalent ratio with 100 as the denominator. We want 100 because percents are out of 100. So letter A is 38 hundredths. So 38 hundredths. Is your denominator 100? 
It is. Therefore, your answer is simply the numerator, or 38%. You must put the percent symbol, otherwise it's incorrect. Letter B is 2 tenths. Is the denominator 100? It is not. So let's make it 100. Let's multiply 10 by 10 to get 100. And we'll do the same to the numerator. And we will get 20, oops, that's an equal sign, 20 over 100. Now that it's in 100 as the denominator, I can look at the numerator, which is simply 20%. Letter C is 47 hundredths. I have 100 as the denominator, therefore the percent is simply 47%. Letter D, 73 hundredths. The denominator is 100. So the percent is simply 73%. You should be looking for a pattern. There's something going on. Point 0.5 is really 5 tenths, but the denominator is not 100. Let's make it 100 by multiplying top and bottom by 10. We would get 50 over 100 or 50%. Letter F is 45 hundredths. The denominator is 100, which means the percent is just 45. Now do you notice a pattern? We went from 0.38 to 38%, percent, 0.2 to 20%. 0.47 to 47%, 0 0.73 to 73%, 0 0.5 to 50%, and 0.45 to 45%. Our shortcut, let's do a different color, is we take that decimal point and this time we move it two to the right. And when you have an empty space, you fill it with zero. So your shortcut method, oops, looks like I skipped a problem, we'll go back to G. Our shortcut method is we move the decimal point, let's see, move the decimal point two places to the right. Before we use that shortcut method, let's look at letter G. The United States produces more core than any other country. Producing corn, that should say. That makes more sense. That should say corn. Producing 0.4 of the total corn crops. Write 0.4 as a percent. Again, I'm going to write it as 4 tenths. I need to make the denominator 100, so I'll multiply both by 10. And I would get 40 over 100. Now we can just look at the numerator. Our percent is 40%. Now let's look below and change these using our shortcut method. Point 8, we're going to move it two decimal points to the right, places to the right. Fill in the gap with a zero. This is 80%. Letter E, move the decimal point 2 to the right, 32%. Letter F, move the decimal point 2 to the right, fill in the gap, 